thank you everyone for coming today. It is a very important day and your presence is very important because this week Mr Abbott and his right-wing Liberals broke the heart of the nation. They are holding Australia back. It should not be the case in our country that people should not be allowed to be treated as a second-class citizen merely because of who they love. We are a better country. And if Mr Abbott does not understand that ordinary Australians, real people with families, we just want all Australians to be free of discrimination, to be able to marry who they want. Our laws should be a mirror of the country that we want to see. Our laws should be able to tell our children who we are as a people. Our laws should be able to tell strangers about the character of Australia. Our laws fail us if we do not allow marriage equality. That is not who we are. In South Australia today, Mr Abbott has addressed some of his uh, followers and he has said it's all about trust. Well, Mr Abbott, after the Irish referendum, you said this was not a matter for a referendum or a plebiscite, it was a matter for the parliament. But within three months, Mr Abbott has betrayed that trust. He's given in to the extreme right-wing voices in his party. He's betrayed the trust of Australians. Mr Abbott has said that he belongs to a political party which will allow a free vote on all matters. He said he believes in a conscience vote. What he didn't tell Australians is he believes in his own conscience and he will force everyone to agree with his conscience. That is not good enough. Shame. Mr Abbott talks about trust. What I do not understand is why he is so obsessed, so hung up, so stuck in the past about marriage equality. I do not understand Mr Abbott, he spends six hours with his whole brains trust, his whole team. They don't spend six hours talking about unemployment. They don't spend six hours talking about Medicare. They don't spend six hours talking about education or climate change. Why is Mr Abbott so stuck in the past that he is worried about who someone else marries. Get a life. <laughs> and furthermore, when Mr. Abbott talks about a plebiscite or he talks about a referendum, Beware, the history of referendums is it will unleash a divisive debate. We want to support marriage equality because I do not want another generation of Australians growing up feeling stigma because of their sexuality. I have no doubt, I have no doubt that a majority of Australians would vote for marriage equality in a referendum, but the price this community pays as the debate in some parts becomes so dreadful, 
Why on earth is Mr Abbott, who's so keen to be a politician, unleashing a divisive debate where we know the outcome? And as for a plebiscite, that will be a $150 million taxpayer-funded opinion poll to tell us what we know. We want marriage equality now! So, I call upon Mr Abbott to give his MPs a free vote, and if he won't, and if he won't, I promise you and I promise him that every day between now and the election, we will promote the case for marriage equality, and if Labor is elected, if we win the next election, that is enough of a vote. Within 100 days, I will introduce a law to have marriage equality and we will get it through this time, once and for all.